Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Special fields are data fields that you can insert into your reports, which display information that is unrelated to the information stored in the tables of the report. Special fields retrieve general report and system information that you may find useful within reports, such as page numbering, the date that the report was printed, the file name of the report, and other types of general report data. Inserting special fields uses the same technique for field insertion used for inserting database fields. You insert both types of fields in the same manner within the Field Explorer pane at the right side of the window. To view the various special fields which you can insert, click the small plus sign next to the special fields entry within the Field Explorer pane. Then you can click the name of the special field which you want to insert into the report, and click the Insert to Report button in the toolbar of the Field Explorer pane. Then click to place the field into the report where you want the value of the special field to be displayed. While you may place special fields into almost any section that you would like within a report, sometimes the type of field indicates where it would be most likely to be placed. For example, inserting the page N of M field into the page footer section of the report will display the page numbering at the bottom of each page of the report, which makes more sense than placing that type of information into the details section, for example. Many times, the type of data represented by the special fields is best placed into the various header and footer sections of the report. Let's examine what types of special fields we can insert and what data they will display within the report. So first you have Content Locale. This displays the locale setting of the computer on which the report is running. You have the current CE user ID, which shows the current user ID of the current Crystal Enterprise user if available. You also have the current CE user name, and that shows the name of the current Crystal Enterprise user if available. You also have the current CE user time zone, which shows the time zone of the user if one exists. Data date shows the date that the report data was last refreshed. Data time shows the time that the report data was last refreshed. Data time zone simply shows the time zone in which the data was last refreshed. File author shows the author listed in the summary info window. File creation date shows the date that the report was created. File path and name inserts the file path and name of the current report. Group number numbers each group and displays it within the group header or group footer in the report. Group selection formula shows the group selection formula used to filter the groups displayed within the report. Horizontal page number numbers the horizontal pages created by report objects, such as OLAP grids and crosstabs, which may extend over several horizontal pages. Modification date shows the last date that the report was saved. Modification time shows the last time that the report was saved. Page N of M inserts the page number with a total page count into the report. Page number simply inserts the page number on each page in the report. Print date shows the date the report was printed, and print time shows the time the report was printed. The print time zone shows the time zone in which the report was printed. Record number assigns and displays a number for each record in the report. Record selection formula shows the record selection formula used to select records within the report. Report comments shows the comments that you've entered into the summary info window. And the report title shows the report title that you have entered into the summary info window for the report. Selection locale shows the locale setting of the machine the report is running on. 
and the total page count shows the total count of the pages within the report. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.